A big benefit to having a Sabre is the ability to communicate directly with um, the company that builds the boat and, and to put your own stamp on it. The 48 represents a, where we are today as far as our approach to the way people use their boat and socialize and interact with, with their guests and, and so on. So the whole arrangement concept again was approached in a very holistic way. It was about a balance of the amount of private spaces versus public spaces on the boat, um, traffic flow. Um, there's a whole bunch of, a bunch of design considerations that, that um, you kind of have to massage into an experience. We went into the 3D environment very early in this project and that allowed us to really visualize the volumes and where the volumes are, where the space was, and what the spaces look like um, very early on. And so that really allowed us to capitalize on each individual compartment, space, component, or passageway, and um, maximize it for what it intended it to be. I think it's important to look at what we did with the uh, cockpit and uh, the heights um, the, the transition from one level of the boat to another is very important in the experience of the arrangement and how the cockpit flowed into the salon and how the salon flows back into the cockpit. So the, the design point for a Sabre is that it's a twin screw power boat that uses the latest available technology and propulsion and that the performance envelope is, is high in that they're relatively high-speed power boats. We pledged from the start that we would develop a hull that delivered a running attitude that was as good as or better than a shaft boat along with the speed, handling, and technological advantages of a pod boat. So that's what we set out to do and I think the results really speak for themselves.